Cima, the place where everybody comes out to show their absolute best. So it is only just the beginning of the week and things are only just starting to get up and running. But this place is just absolutely mind boggling. I feel like I'm in complete paradise right now. I am out here on business. It's not purely recreation. I'm helping to promote the Young Guns. It's a really cool competition that basically focuses on builders that are 27 years and younger. I was actually out this entire morning. I walked like 15,000 steps to do the initial judging of the Young Guns. It was an awesome experience and what they had brought out were just extremely impressive. Now I can't reveal any of the winners of those Young Guns just yet because it's kind of a closed loop system. But as the vlogs commence, if you will, throughout the week, there will be some information to follow. Here guys, I'll show you some trucks just as we're walking into the show. Oh my God. I have not seen trucks like this ever in person. They're just insane. Here's a perspective on where my head falls to the grill. I'm basically up to the badge. These things are just insane. It's everywhere you look, you just see something that blows your mind. I mean, we're talking vehicles here. This is just on a whole new level. Guys, I'm just soaking this all in right now. This is absolutely insane. 42 by 15 and a half are 28. <whistles> Literally taking things to an entirely new level. It's time I've ever seen a 30 inch wheel in person. It's ridiculous. You could sleep in there comfortably. Let's just put things into perspective real quick. Kneeling down, and this thing's literally as tall as I am. It's unbelievable. We're talking like six inches higher than my waist, and I'm nearly six foot tall. Really, guys, we just walked into the show. This is only just the beginning. We are in truck paradise. I'm actually blown away. I was expecting a lot of cars. Of course, the trucks are going to get highlighted. They're just everywhere. Look at this. Look at look. <sighs> Straight up a little kid in a candy shop. One thing I have noticed though, it seems like every single massive lifted truck here has this striker off-road lift kit. So many that you guys just saw that have this exact lift kit. So it's kind of become not that big of a deal. I am curious though as to how much one of these costs. I can imagine it'd be a pretty penny. In the flesh. That a lot of you guys. In the flesh. A lot of you guys may recognize. Up, Dude, you are looking Hi, official, brother. I mean, I am envious. I got, I got, yo. Sweet. Whoa. Check that out right there, Watch my friend. Out. That is, that you is like that? fresh. Dude. I know, I know, I know. It's been an adventure to get to SEMA. Let's just put it that way. I know I'm not the only one that feels like uh, almost not worth it, but at the end of the day, we're here. We get to hang out with cool people. And to me, I'm really here to meet everybody. 
because Instagram's been a huge thing. We've all met each other through Instagram. Me and you met through Instagram. Hell yeah, dude. And to be able to put us in a place where we can all kind of hang out together, you know, we've established a relationship over the internet for a long time, so getting that in real life, that's the main reason I'm here. So I think it'd be really sweet. Nice, man, nice. Yeah, it's, it's good to be here, dude. And the truck, the truck. It, it's looking good. Talking about these trucks, like this is insane. Like some of the builds here are just unbelievable, man. You know what, I, I kind of thought, you know, I told everybody, uh, I feel like I took it to a whole new level. I, th I think you did great, but then you see something like this. It's good to see you back with the truck finally, my man. It's yeah, this thing came out good, man. It's crazy, like videos don't do justice to just like how large the hardware is. Setups like this, dude, it's unbelievable. The hardware, the color's hard to get in a video. It, it, it's all rough, man. It's, it's hard to really convey. Message to people that like being here, it, it doesn't do justice through video. It, it's just like you walk around and the sheer scale of like everything in this industry is just absolutely mind boggling. I, I don't even, I don't even think I have anything to say right now, to be honest. These guys are just comfortable under here hanging out. How much do one of these wheels and tire combos weigh? Maybe 300. 300 pounds. What's this truck weigh in total with everything done to it? We're guessing it's 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Rhino's six foot tall and making. Oh, two more, man. Yeah. Six foot half inch, buddy. Six foot and a half. Don't you dare steal that half inch from it. There you go. And you look like a pipsqueak next to this thing, dude. I'm working on it. Woohoo! 15,000 pounds. So I'm sure you guys have seen this truck. This thing, this thing's really actually gnarly. I like, I love how this is just so different. It's not like this sculpted body. It's definitely got character. Being that I can't actually show you guys the interior, I'm gonna kind of just boost you up real quick. Now you guys can get a look. I, I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to see this after I'm editing the video. I watch everyone's channel. <laughs> what's up, what's up, dude? <laughs> so basically, guys, what's going on right here behind me is all of the Battle of the Builders and the Young Guns are collected. There are going to be 10 finalists that fall in the four categories of the Battle of the Builders. So there's a category for American, for import, for trucks, and then, of course, the Young Guns. The Young Guns is kind of a culmination of all builds in another video that's specifically highlighted for this, but I figured it'd be cool to show you guys kind of a behind-the-scenes look at just how colossal this event truly is. Is, right? I believe about 200,000 people come out to this event year over year. And this convention center's largest event out of all the events that are held here in Las Vegas. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, it's uh, Duramax Dirty Dan Jack here. Uh, we're reviewing some trucks. Uh, there's a truck behind us. It's a yellow uh, Ford Honda Spoon truck. Uh, it's what? on the platform spinning around. Uh, I think it's the wheels that spin it. Hey everybody, uh, back in, get your we're going to go pay attention now. <laughs> It has been an unbelievable day. God, I am just sitting here right now. Seam is dying down. It's like 6.30. I hear that inside the convention center, right here behind me, it gets so crowded inside this massive corridor. It's 1.2 million square foot. Now you're quite literally shoulder to shoulder with people that are trying to get to different vendors. I mean, every single vendor that you can ever imagine ever seeing on any vehicle ever is here. That is the crazy severity of this trade show. It's truly about empowering enthusiasm. You know what's really cool, guys, is the fact that the word enthusiast has been used repeatedly. I know I use it a lot on my channel, but at this specific show, it's been used so many times because it's the only way to truly describe what is quite literally going on around us right now. And that's the crazy part. That's the thing that just makes me so happy. I think we found the truck that we're gonna end up giving away. It's extremely exciting. I just got a few text messages today with some photos. It seems like it's the perfect one. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on it. More details to follow on that. And also, I still haven't gotten a winner on the Grom giveaway, but that information will be coming very shortly. I promise you guys, we're working on that. It takes a little bit of time to basically handle the logistics on the back end. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this upload. I look forward to highlighting more information about SEMA. If you guys have questions about SEMA or about how the process works behind the scenes, anything like that, let me know. Drop a comment below so that way I can kind of shed some of those insights into this experience because I'm going to be reading those comments and then going back into the show to cover as much as I possibly can. So with that said, guys, smash that subscribe button, tap that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next SEMA upload.